Star, what is it that your mother's not telling me? Am I doing the right thing by not telling Todd the truth? That the baby that I lost was his? Are you really and truly back together? We really and truly are, sweetheart. You mean Mommy hasn't told you? Told me what? About the baby. There's more to the story, One Life to Live, ABC Daytime. You want, you wanted to say. Oh, gosh. I know that you have been through a horrible ordeal here, and I feel bad for you. I feel really, really bad having your newborn baby stolen away from you like this. David, he, he wasn't stolen. He died, and that's, that's a big difference. Yes, well, I think that's why you should listen to my good news. It could change a lot of things for you. Life-altering good news, the best kind. Not always. Look, David, I'm really, really not in the mood, I so... I think uh... you will be for this. You see... Well, the... Well, the good news is that, uh, uh, uh... I'm gonna buy into that investment scheme that David couldn't shut up about earlier. I'm gonna triple my money. And so will David. More like quadruple. Which is very exciting, for me, anyway. If it makes you happy. Oh, extremely. You know, guys, I am just not in the mood for investments or money. You know what, Blair? Why don't you, uh, go triple check, make sure that, you know, we packed everything. I don't have a lot to take home. Are you trying to tick me off? I am trying to prove to you that I mean business. Fine. You made your point. What is it that you want? If you don't give me exactly what I want, I'm going to tell Blair that her baby is alive and well and in the next room because based on the way she's reacting, I think she has a right to know. Really? Who asked you? What, did you take a poll? Oh, well, luckily for you, I also think I have a right to be rich. Yeah, I've heard that about you. That and your pension for older women and bondage. Don't try to change the subject as long as we have an understanding. An understanding? Yeah, that way Blair never has to know what a cruel, unforgivable man you truly are and she never has to know what really happened to her baby. Okay, you need to leave now. Without giving Blair her happy ending? No, really, take a hike. Hiking's so exhausting. I'd rather travel first class. You don't honestly think you're gonna get any more money from me, do you? Yes, I do. Because I don't think Blair would be very happy to know how mean you've been to her little bundle of joy. Me? I just gave the little brat a bottle. Of tequila? What'd you ever do for it? Nothing so far, but I could reunite him with his mother. Well, 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 just tell me what you want. Well, what's my silence worth to you, Todd? Because I think it'd be worth quite a lot to Blair. Blair doesn't have any money. No, maybe not, but I think she could lay her hands on quite a substantial sum. I mean, there's always Dorian. Or Kelly. <sighs> ah, I see my reasoning was convincing. No, I just want you to shut your mouth. And think of me as the kind of guy that really just wants to avoid hassle. You know what? We have that in common. You and I are so much alike. Yeah, sure we are. What do you think of that? It's a start. No, it's a finish. This is it. It's a one-time deal. You take it or you leave it. Not so fast, Vickers. There's a catch. What's your condition? You call it whatever you want. Do you really think you're in any position to be making conditions? I don't know, David. You tell me. Do you really think anybody's going to organize a search party for you if you just suddenly disappear without a trace? What's your condition? You know what? I don't like your attitude. Never mind. Deal's off. Bluff. Bluff. You're bluffing. Oh, come on. Look at this face. Can you really tell? What are you talking about? See, I think then you need this money more than I need you, and that gives me an advantage. Well, why don't we just let Blair be the judge? No, if you want this money, and I know that you do, you're going to have to earn it. What's my motivation? More money. Motivated. Lay it on me. Go away and take the kid with you. You have no idea what you lost, Todd. You want me to take the baby? Yeah. Where? I don't care. 
Why don't you take him? I don't want it. What am I going to do with it? I don't know. Give him back to those nuns. They seem to like him, okay? Well, they'll just give it to the next guy that comes along. It, look, this baby's worth a lot of money. He's got ten fingers, ten toes. This is a fully loaded baby. Do I have to do anything else? You need to never mention the father. I don't even know who the father is. Great. Then you're halfway there. What's the second half? You need to forget the mother, too. You drive a hard bargain. I'm not in the mood for your compliments. Do we have a deal? Yeah. Yeah, we do. God. And with that drool coming out of you, you look just like your father. Come on. Hold the head up, okay? I got him here in one piece, didn't I? What the hell are you doing? Take this and uh, follow those. Does this mean we're breaking up? Yeah, it was heaven while it lasted, but you need to beat it. I promise I'll find him a good home. I don't care. Good home, bad home, band of gypsies. Just get it out of here. You are one cold-hearted son of a gun, you know that? Yeah. Well, you got me on a good day. Huh? At least for the kid, I guess. Yeah, how, how do I know that you're not going to show up again on my doorstep asking for more child support? Well, for one thing, I'm banned in the good old U.S. of A. I apparently have some sort of problem with the law. I'm not really sure what it is, but you know how that goes. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. So you're not coming back? No, I am never coming back, Todd. That's good, because, you know, if I can take a baby away from somebody that I like, like, imagine what I can do to somebody that I don't like at all. Yeah, it was, it was nice to see you. I, I just wanted to say thank you. Oh, no, that's not necessary. I didn't do anything. No, no, you did. You said some really sweet things about the baby, and, well, it meant... It was just nice to hear. Oh, well, uh, you're welcome. And besides, Blair, he's, he's headed to a much better place. A much, much better place. Believe me. Okay, Davey, uh, we'll see you later. Come on, we should go back in the Hacienda. We really do have a plane to catch. David? Bye. Bye. I just can't wait to see our little girl. It seems like forever. Claire, wait. What is it? Well, you know, since we couldn't get a hold of Star down there in Mexico, I, I need to know what you're going to say to her. How are you going to handle telling her about what happened down there? Oh, Todd, I... Well, she's going to ask, you know. Well, you know what? Maybe she won't. Maybe she'll just be so happy that 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 we're together that... You know, maybe we'll just, we'll just tell her sometime. Break it to her later. Blair, for months, she was like, baby this, baby that. I mean, it's not like she's not going to notice that we're here without a baby. Can we not do it now, Todd? I'm just so glad to be home with you and for us to be a, a real family. Oh, 